that. I think we had probably had more pressure at the beginning of last year because there were a lot of things that we talked about. We talked about what well, what we were going to do when everybody else said we weren't going to do it. So, um, and our guys played well. They showed up. And they showed they showed up well. So, yes. I know you guys always expect to win regardless of who's playing, but but considering the way you guys or all the things that you had to overcome to get to win the division, all of the injuries that you had to overcome, is is there a little extra satisfaction seeing seeing not you know not just winning a division, but winning it the way you had to win it? <clears throat> well, I think anytime you you have to overcome uh, hurdles and adversity and challenges, it it, it makes the, the the prize at the end of uh, the race a little more sweeter, um, but ultimately, if you ask, uh, I'm sure if you, as you talk to these guys, that there, there's still some uh, dissatisfaction and not quite satisfied uh, based on how we ended the year last year. Uh, I think we did some, our guys did some remarkable things, and, and, and couldn't be more proud of of how they played and how they showed up every single day and how they can, can continue to fight all the way to the end, and uh, especially. How the the last two games played out uh, before the postseason started, with the, the game against Anaheim and uh, the the blow up in the in the, the later inning, and, and and then to 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 come out the next day and to win in the fashion we did. I mean, couldn't be more proud. Oh, I don't think you put it. Just forget about it. Uh, look, I one of the things I told our guys at the very end, the very last day after, is still fresh in my mind that that. Um, that game's not going to define who they were last year, um, but to utilize that game is is a burning desire to, to get up every morning during the off season to get ready for for this year and um, and to, to feel that burn uh, because it really that you, you, in this game you got to use those motivations to, to be able to push you push you forward. Um, but yeah, I, I don't. I think there comes a time when you shut the door. On 2015, uh, and opened the door to 2016, and, 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 and what we're going to face going forward. Uh, but I, I don't think we've reached that time yet. I mean, it's still we've got to allow all the questions to be asked. Uh, we're going to relive all of it, and, and that's part of it. So, with that being said, what kind of excitement is there for the team, considering the way you guys closed and getting guys like Darvish back and healthy for this season? Oh yeah, I, to get Darvish back at some point is it's going to be exciting for everybody. Not, not only us, but but him and, and our fans to be able to, to to see you back out on the field. I, I think nobody is will be more excited than than him. Really, I because I've gotten to know the competitor, I've gotten to know the, the, the man, and and really what he uh, thinks of himself and what he wants to be, and and just the effort that that he has put into through the rehab process. Look, unless you've been through that process, you have no understanding what 14 months of grinding out. An ultra competitor to be put on the shelf, go through a surgery, not be able to compete at all. And what they go through mentally and physically to be able to come back out, I, I look forward to it. I, I can't wait to, to watch it. What's the profile Talked to him yesterday. Um, He's still on a on a throwing program, uh, which has been pretty conservative in, in, in a sense that, that uh, through us and him and the communication of where he is daily, um, strengthening the, the arm. I uh, feel like that when he gets to spring training that we'll reevaluate, reassess, see, see where he's at. But in his mind, he feels like he's going to be a guy that's going to be able to, 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 to go from the beginning of the spring training. But again, here's another guy who hasn't really played significant innings in two years. So what he's able to give us, what he's able to show us is, is still an un unknown. So we'll we'll see what, what he has when he gets to spring training, uh, see where he is physically, and, and kind of evaluate that on a day-to-day -day basis. Would it kind of make sense to maybe put him in AAA a whole year and um, show he's a valuable shortstop and improve himself on that level before he gets back? Oh, I, I think that that's a, that's a a, a yeah. nice statement. Uh -huh. um, it's a good thought. Yeah. Uh, I think it's really too soon to to, to say and stamp that's right. what we're going to do. I, I think to be fair to, to Jurickson and to be fair to the process that, that we that we allow that process to go ahead and unfold itself in front of us and see exactly where he's at. And, and again, 
two years of not playing. It's a challenge. You watched some of our guys last year in, in, in Chu, in, in Morrill, and in, in Prince Fielder, what they had to, to go through missing significant time in one year, not two years, in one year to get back to be able to compete at the level that they were able to compete at. And they were all went through different stages throughout the year to be able to get to where they needed to, to be, uh, to be a, a viable player at the major league level. And, and this is a guy, correct me if I'm wrong, but it, it, there's not a, a large sample size of major league experience. It's still small. So, and, and he's missed two years. So I, I would think the, the, the prudent thing to do is to just to continue to, to allow the process to, to, to go forward. You mentioned the Toronto series. Is there scar tissue on something like that when you win the first two in Toronto and come so close in game four and game five? There should be, but you know what I know about scar tissue? What? You can always get rid of it. You break through it? Oh, absolutely. Um, so maybe it's a healthy thing, huh? Oh, I think any time that you, you, you would face, uh, you face adversity, um, you face challenges, yeah. Uh, you got one of two choices. You can either run from it, and bury your head, or you, you could just continue to, to try to push through and push forward. Um, what I learned about these guys, look, they, they faced it every single day. I mean, there was no more adversity than, than April 30th. There was it? Think about where we were April 30th. Yeah. Where were we? <laughs> you were in a different place. We were all now. Yeah. Seven and one. Seven and eighteen. Right. No, nobody, nobody in in, in baseball, even remotely, they would have thought they would have thought you crazy if, if you'd have wrote the headlines. The Texas Rangers will be the American League West 2015 champions. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we didn't we didn't ask for anybody to remove our mountains. They just keep them right where they're at and let's yeah. plow through them. I think it was incredible for, for the entire state. If you're a baseball fan and uh, to have your two professional teams, two major league teams going at it in, in the fashion that they did. There was the dust up in, in, in Houston, um, how the games played out uh, from the very first series of the year that we played Houston in, in Arlington and, and how the, 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 the last game of that series ended with uh, Superman out in right field making a Robin a, a, a uh, Leonis Martin of a grand slam, and and then you know Conger hitting the hitting the home run, and, and in an extra inning game for us to go on to, to do the things that we did against that young uh, prolific ball club, uh, and, and for our guys to continue to grind it out and and to have the two teams just battling back and forth, and us to to kind of rise at the end. Uh, and, and them to continue to play on and to get into postseason, I, I think uh, it's great for to be a baseball fan in, in, in the state of Texas. Do you worry about Elvis's mental state at all after the last game? Well, I worry about all of them in a sense that, that, that they're where they are as, as players, um, mm -hmm. physically, mentally, emotionally. Um, but again, I, I, I think uh, sometimes when, when you when you take yourself out of the fire and dust off the ashes, and you figure out that you you, you forged out of out of more than than than, than just melded uh, metal, that, that you can withstand uh, these type of, uh, of situations. That you, you you're you, you're a better player, you're a better person, you're a better competitor, and and, and so um, I, again, what I know about Elvis, uh, I, I our our conversations, I think this is a He's a tough human being, a tough player, and he's he's going to be a better better person, better player for it.